Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your full body dumbbell combo workout. This workout uses dumbbells to strengthen and sculpt your entire body while getting your heart rate up. We're gonna be starting back to basics and putting some things together for combo moves. And of course, I'll give you lots of different options to work to your level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and start with just a little bit of movement. You can march, you can jog, whatever you wanna to do to get the blood flowing, get your heart pumping, get your body's core temperature out. Maybe let's roll those shoulders. Try to let go of any tension or stress you might be feeling from the day, from the week. If you got those watches, go ahead and start them. I'm a new watch user. <laughs> so get those minutes in but don't worry if you don't have one. And if it's stressing you out, you don't need one, right? All right, so let's roll through. Let's take it one at a time right through here and then take it to the front. So isolating in that shoulder, those shoulders get really, really tight. Let's take it other side. We're gonna keep this warm up pretty short so we can keep the workout short. And if you need more of a warm up or some mobility work, please get it on your own. I always remind you, that we need, let's just shift our weight here. We need mobility and flexibility training throughout our weeks, throughout our days, not just before and after a workout. So make sure you're getting that in. If you want, step into it, reach down and up, and reach, and reach, right through here. There we go. Ah, now we're starting to feel that energy, right? I always remind you, if you don't feel like getting a workout in, which I know, especially this time of year, a lot of us are feeling tired, low energy, not motivated, flat back down, round it up. Just tell yourself you have to just get five minutes. After five minutes, chances are, like right now maybe, you're starting to feel that energy, you're starting to feel those feel good hormones. Let's take our hands right here, roll through your back, cat to cow, really isolating. And you usually wanna keep going. But if after five minutes you're not feeling it, Honor your body and just take a break, all right? Roll it through and round it up. Let's get a little squat right here, followed by a hinge. Hands in front for your squat, drop those hips low. Hands behind for your hinge, just like this. Make them different, remember the hinge is not just a fold forward, you're driving the hips to the back, right? Bringing those hands behind the head is gonna help you keep that flat back, but it's also going to give you that chest opener that we all need, right? Take it here. And here, one more. And hold this here. You can either keep it here, hands here, or hands here, pedal those feet. And then if you're able, walk it down either to an all fours position on your knees or to that high plank position. Just a little forward and back. A little side to side. Even if you're on your knees, just dropping the hips, opening up, sitting back into that child's pose on the knees. And then either up to plank or just back up to all fours. Back and up, core firing, getting ready to go while we also get that good mobility work. One more. And here, from your knees or from your toes, take one foot up if you can. World's greatest stretch, big reach. Take it through a couple times. And then same thing on that other side. Switch it back right here. Big reach. If you can, take it through a couple times. And then step it all the way in, however you wanna roll all the way up slowly come to the center tap and reach across all right team so here's what we got working with our dumbbells and i'll try to cue you if you need to go lighter or medium or heavy i'll be working with my 10 pounds and my 15 pounds today alternating between the two let's bring those hamstrings up and here's what we got we are working with 40 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest for most of these exercises we're going through. And again, we're starting with one thing, back to basics, maybe a lower body and then an upper body, and then we'll have a combo move where we put them together. That's gonna get your heart pumping a little bit more, it's gonna get your muscles working hard, but if that combo move is not right for you, you just pick. You can either do 
one of the back to basics or you can split the time. Do one and then the other, all right? Go ahead and shake everything out. Grab those weights. I'm gonna go medium on this one with my 10 pounds. And we're gonna start with a side lunge right through here. Actually, you could probably go heavier on this one. So we're going into a side lunge, but then right after that, we're gonna go into a reverse fly or a wide row. So starting with that side lunge to the right, we're going here 40 seconds in three, two, one. Right here, so side lunge, sit deep, press out of it. If moving into it is not right for you, you can always keep it stationary, just like this, right here. So you can just go here and push up out of it. You're still shifting your weight only to one side, keeping the shoulders pulled back and shifting your weight, leaning to the side and also driving the hips to the back. So it's a little bit of a hinge movement as well. You can take your time with it. In fact, I'd rather you make sure you can get low and shift your weight. Last one and breathe. Now I'm gonna go to my medium one. So I'm gonna set these to the side because we're gonna get that left side in just a minute. Before we do that, we're gonna do a reverse fly. So you can either have slight bend in the arms bringing it to here or you can go wide row. Sometimes it gets a little tricky. You wanna go lighter than what you would do on a row. We're gonna hinge it here, flat back. Here we go. Reverse fly, looks like this. You don't have to get super high. You can just come up about level with the shoulders. You can always, again, do a wide row. You're just a little wider, but you're bending in the elbows. Or you can alternate one at a time. I want you to think about what that core is doing, keeping the core engaged. Back is flat. Nice straight line from the top of your head to your tailbone. We got five seconds. Three, two, one. And relax. All right, team, set those ones down. Back to your heavies if you got them. We got side lunge this side. Again, you can take it here or you can keep it stationary. It's up to you. Bend your knees to grab those weights. My heart rate's up, I hope yours is too. Other side, side lunge, shoulders back. Here we go. Step into it, shift the weight, push out of it. Step into it, push out of it. Giving yourself a half second at the bottom to really feel pushing in and out of the hip, right? So your entire leg is working, you're getting a little stretch through your stationary leg, but we really want you to get into that abductor outer thighs, right, and your glutes, as well as quads, hamstrings. 10 seconds, stationary works well. Remember, you can be here too. Maybe that's a better option for you. We got five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. All right, team, so now we got 40 seconds. We're putting them together. Here's the trick. We're gonna alternate. So you're gonna step to the side, wide row or reverse fly, step it in, other side. If you want, you can keep it stationary. And if you want, you can just do one and then the other, if it gets to that point. Go ahead and grab those weights again. I would go with whatever you did the reverse fly with, if you have something a little lighter. Right and left, take your time with it. We got 40 seconds. Shoulder blades, a little bit longer of a breather here to get set in three, two, one. Take it here. Row or fly. Woo. Sit low, wide row, right, ah, wide row or reverse fly. You know what I meant. Reverse fly. Take it here. Down. Again, you have options. You can keep it stationary. You just want to make sure you drop the chest to get that fly. Or one right through here. And again, with all of these combo moves, if you need to, just do one or the other. Last one, and relax. Ha! <laughs> all right, team, catch your breath. We're going into our next move. We're front loading this a little bit to get some of the harder stuff up top, some of that high heart rate stuff. Then we got a section on the mat, so don't worry. We're gonna take it to a reverse lunge, all right? So I'm stepping back. I have dumbbells on either side. You can also do this body weight or one dumbbell, shoulders back. Then 
we will get a bicep curl, super simple, then we'll get the other side, then we put them together. All right, try to go heavy for those legs if you can. I'm going with my 15s. Right foot forward, left foot stepping back. You can always tap it back. Here we go. Reverse lunge. Step it up and in. Remember you're stepping wide, hip distance apart, dropping that back knee. You can lean forward just a bit, but not a full hinge and not rounding in the back. If you need to modify, little tap back works, or you can keep it just stationary. That's an option too, right? Right through here, down, and up. Yes, team. 10 seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one. If you're going with something a little different, go ahead and bend your knees to set those weights down. Grab your other weights, bend your knees. I know I remind you because I don't want anybody going here. I want you to actually use that good mobility. And every time we put them down and up, I want you to think of that as a little bonus mobility. We're going bicep curl in three, two, one. Up to your shoulders, down by your side, slow and controlled. You can stand with feet parallel, just like this. Think about that core. If you feel like you're getting a little arch in the back, stagger your feet. And of course, if you need to, you can always alternate one at a time right here. Bring it up, take it down, yes. Up and down. And breathe. Three, two, one. Here's your mobility. Set them down carefully if you're going to heavier. Other side. So this time I got my left foot forward. I'm stepping my right foot back, hip distance, train tracks, dropping it down. If you need to tap it, whoo, sweating. If you need to tap it, that works too. Or keep it stationary. In three, two, one. Get low. Drive up through that heel. So super back to basics, right? Right through here. Yes, you can. Driving it back. Looking like this again. Remember, you can just tap it back if that's a better option for you. Or take the movement out of it, the stepping in and out, and just keep it stationary. Right through here. Just like that, right? Driving up out of it. I love the reverse because we can get that good stretch and then a lot of power as we come up. Three, two, one, and relax. Set those down, catch your breath, team. All right, you know what's coming. We're putting them together. Yes, we're going to alternate. If it's too much, just do the curl, just do the lunge, or split it half and half. All right, we're gonna lunge back. We're gonna curl. Try to curl at the bottom. If that doesn't make sense to your brain, lunge back. Curl at the top, you can separate them out, all right? Grab those weights, catch your breath. Let's get it done alternating. Here we go, lunge and curl. So stepping back right and then left, we're alternating. A little more challenging if you curl on the way down, you're doing the two moves at the same time. But again, maybe that doesn't feel right for you. You can step it back. Curl it at the top, then switch. Step it back, whoo! They're both challenging, right? We just got a lot of load here. Drive it up. So pick what's good for you, and if you need to separate them out, you do you. Have I said that yet today? This is your workout. Make it work for you. Last one, breathe, ha. Huh. Set those weights down, catch your breath, team. How's that heart rate? Mine is up there, whoo! All right. Be where you are today. So if that is just back to basics, keep it there. If you're a beginner, if that's what you're feeling today, if you're getting back into it, meet me down on the mat team, a little bit of core, and we'll get some triceps. So have those medium or whatever you do for a tricep extension close by. We're bringing it down here, starting with your basic dead bug. I love this because most people can do it if you need to modify. You can just do a little arm slide here or a bridge, or a little taps. We'll start with that, then we'll extend it up. So join me here, a little tuck of the pelvis, zip up that core, feet up on tabletop. Here we go. Ooh, I said we'd start with that, right? Little tap, 
if you want, or extend the leg out. Extend it out. Now, sometimes we think this dead bug looks super easy, but I promise you, if you're really thinking about the engagement, about what's happening when you extend, how you're stabilizing here, and what's happening as you, what I call close the core, pull everything in, you're gonna feel that. If it's feeling too easy, move those knees away from your body. Three, two, one, and relax. Stay right here, team. We're going two dumbbells or one tricep extension. So it's just a little bend in the elbows down by the ears. Extend it up. Two dumbbells. I'm gonna go with my medium with my tens. If you wanna go one heavier dumbbell between two hands, that works too. Or again, you can alternate. Go ahead and shift those shoulders back just a tad. Let's do it here and up. So you can probably guess when we put these together, it's gonna be the triceps and the dead bug and it's a lot of core work. So we're really gonna to have to stabilize. So while you're doing this triceps, what is your core doing? It should be burning a little from what we just did. Slow and control with the arms as you come down, not moving from the shoulders. But again, little tuck of the pelvis, little zip up of the core, stable, lift up on that pelvic floor. Yes, you can. Three, two, one, and relax. Yes, team. All right, so if that's not right for you, you pick one or you can alternate between the two, but here's what we got, team. Again, maybe start with a little toe tap. Then as you're ready, extend it out. It's challenging, but we can do it. Pull that core in, feet and tabletop. Here we go. Little tap right through here. Or, yes, burn, I know. I was gonna do this one the opposite where we started with the triceps because I knew those were gonna burn a little bit more. But I thought, no, let's do them back to back because you're strong, you can do it. And again, if at any point you need to alternate, think like your regular dead bug, opposite arm, opposite leg, or two hands, Woo! not two legs, right? Three, two, one, burn, yes, team. Stretch it out. Grab a sip of water up onto your feet. We're gonna keep it going. Ha, huh. did I tell you we have two long circuits today? That's the end of circuit one, all right? We're gonna take it with a little deadlift to start. This one we actually get a little bonus back to basics. We're gonna get a deadlift, so I want you to go heavy. Then after that, we're gonna get our dumbbell swing. Then we're gonna go to an overhead press. When we put them together, we're gonna to do three swings or three deadlifts, curl it or clean it here, and then three presses, all right? It's gonna make sense once we get there. Go ahead and start with something heavy for your deadlift. We got 40 seconds deadlift, 30 seconds swing, then a press. Let's take it right here. So shoulders back and packed. Remember, we're gonna paint the front of our legs with those weights. We're gonna squeeze in the armpits, and we're gonna drive those hips to the back. In three, two, one, 40 seconds. Deadlift, right through here, down, and up. Yes, team, you got this. Ha, and up. All the way up. Shutting the car door, remember that's what we're thinking about with that deadlift, drive it back, bring it up. 10 seconds. Core zipping up, staying stable, but then big exhale to engage the core and pelvic floor at the top. Three, two, one. Back to basics, right? All right, team, now we're going 30 seconds. Either keep the deadlift if that's what's right for you, if that's where you are today, if you've never done a dumbbell swing, or ski or swing up just like this. Drive the hips to the back, it's back loaded, lock it out, and here we go. Arms are not working, it's lower body, hinge it, here we go, prep, three, two, one, power. Let it drop, only 30. You're locking out of the top, standing straight and tall. Powering up with the back of the body. Locking out right at the top, standing straight, dumbbells, chest to eye level, then letting them drop. Power up, let it drop, up. I want you to pull those shoulder blades together 
squeeze in the armpits, but not lift with the arms. Three, two, one, and relax. If you want, let your body hang for a second, get a little stretch, pedal those feet. feet. <laughs> We're gonna go into an overhead press. All right, team, I'm gonna keep these tens because it's the lightest I have, but just remember, sometimes when we go overhead, it's a little tricky. So I'm gonna go here, you can go here, but we're gonna go up and then down. Level with the shoulders, core engage. If you need to alternate or take it to one dumbbell, that's an option too. Three, two, one. And here, here we go. Again, you can always stagger one foot back if you need to, just like this. Or if it's starting to feel like too much, alternate or one dumbbell, looks like this, right? <sighs> can already imagine that's gonna be fun when we get down, <sighs> breathe. Ha, <sighs> <sighs> keep it going, 10 seconds. When we put them together, that's gonna be fun. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, so, we got our combo. I want you to watch me. Two things. You can go deadlift for three. Imagine that's my third one. Curl, then press for three. Imagine that's three, then back down. Or you're gonna prep it. Swing, three, two, watch me. Bring it up with a clean, three, two, and then you bring it back down in the swing. If you're not comfortable with that, keep the deadlift. If you wanna try it, see how it goes. But nice swing for three. Stop your momentum with the clean at the shoulders and then press for three. Hinge it, we got 40 seconds in three, two, one. Prep it, swing it three or deadlift, two, one, clean. We got press three. Big power move, big heart rate move. So go for it, three, two, one. Clean or curl. If you're doing the deadlift, you're probably going a little quicker and that's okay. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Can we go one more? Three. Oh, arms, I know. Three, two, one, and relax. Ha, ha, ha. Set those down, team. Meet me on the mat. All right, so one heavy dumbbell. We're gonna do, oh, no, standing first. We're gonna do a bent over row. One heavy dumbbell. Here's what we got, arm out, opposite arm, opposite leg are gonna go here. If you don't feel stable, just do the row. Grab that weight, here we go. Looking like this. So heavy dumbbell on one side. If you wanna do two dumbbells, you can, but we're gonna separate them out because we're gonna separate them out when we make a combo, right through here, right? Squeeze, opposite leg, so think of that core stabilization. Pull that elbow up. This hand here can keep you balanced, right? Yes, here we go. Breathe, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and shake it out. We are gonna get that other side. So again, hip distance apart. You know, that leg is gonna feel it because they've been working hard, but we're mostly concerned with the back. So we want the entire back to be working across. Pull that elbow up and squeeze, arm out. Three, two, one. Boom! Yes, I know. And breathe. Ha. Keeping that weight close to the side, so if you're like me, you might get your mic back, right? If you're feeling too unsteady, just be right here, pull that elbow up. You're still gonna get the back working, especially in this outside staggered position. Breathe, 10 seconds to go. Feel that all the way through the back of the body, glutes and hamstrings too. Five, four, three, two, one. Meet me on the mat team. We're coming into a plank position on our elbows. You can also take this on the wall or elevate it if that's better for you or on your knees. But if you can, we're gonna do a little plank elevator. What that means, we're gonna bring the knee in, little lift. I'm gonna stay on my elbows, so I have to lift to create the space. You can be on the hands if that's better for you. Let's do it, here we go. Little plank elevator. 
So knee comes in. Sometimes I just call this knee pike, right? In order to create the space for the knee to come in, especially if you're on your elbows, you have to pike, little lift with the hips, right? If that doesn't feel good for you, you can just take it from the knees or here or again on the wall. Either way, lifting with the core, pulling everything in. Let's keep it going for five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it back. All right, team, so I want you to hang out on the mat with me. Grab a heavy dumbbell. We're gonna get one side row and leg lift from the mat, but with the elevator. Sounds like a lot, but I want you to watch me and then we'll get into it. All right, team, so right hand has the dumbbell, left leg is extended on my, on my right knee. Row and lift, then lift in the elevator. Row and lift, arm and leg, and then arm and leg are on the ground, core brings that knee up. So it's opposite points, make sense? Yes, you got this. We are almost done with this workout. So let's finish strong. Lots of back, lots of glutes and hamstrings, lots of core. Let's get into position. If you want to, you can just do the row or just do the knees. Here we go. And lift, yes you can. And lift. Squeeze all the way down and then lift with the core. You can go as slow as you need to. You can pick up that pace, but I want you to breathe to really focus on what's working. Squeezing in the back, the glutes, the hamstrings, upper back and shoulders, and then lifting with that core, right? We've got five, four, three, two, one. Little stretch, and then we're gonna go right into that other side. So I've got my left knee down, left hand doing the row. Right leg lifting, not twisting, in three, two, one. Here we go, up, and then lift that knee. I know it's kind of a lot of things for your brain to think about, but I just want you to think back, lift the core. Squeeze the back, lift the core. Separate it out if you need to, just do one or the other. Take it here. Take it here. Boom. I know. So close. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Join me down on your back, guys. We are so close. All right, so medium to heavy weights. I'm gonna try these 15s, I'm gonna see how it goes. I might have to switch out. All right, so we're gonna go with a rotating press. So you can be here, you can be at a bridge. We're gonna turn those palms in, turn them out as we come down. In as you come up, out as you come down. So we are getting all through those upper body push, chest, shoulders, triceps, core stays engaged. Let's do it. Whew, meet me on your back. If you're not there already, remember a little angle in three, two, one. Press, turn them in, turn them out. Now, if you have clunkier dumbbells, if they're bigger, if they're heavier, or even if they're bigger and they're lighter, you may just wanna turn your palms in. If that feels better for you, that's an option too. Or, if you can, all the way through. See what that does. We're getting extra movement through our shoulder and elbow and wrist joints. So good mobility, good strength there. We are also, whoo, really working that upper body. I don't know if you feel it like me, but I do. Breathe, ha, and here, three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, stretch that down. Woo, man. All right, so we're going to take it to a little leg push. So hands underneath your hips. We're gonna extend those legs out. We're gonna bring them in, little lift. Now, if you want, you can do one at a time. That's a good modification or a bridge. Here we go. Extend those legs out, in and lift. Slow and controlled. Out, in and lift. If you feel like you're arching your back or you can't control it, push them up to the side and then just bring the knees into your chest. You're still gonna feel that core, right? Take it out, in and lift. 
Imagine that your core is creating and controlling and executing the motion. It's not your legs, it's not your hips, it's your core, right? Here we go. Woo! Wrap it in. Three, two, one. All right, team, this is it. All right, I'm gonna try to hang out with these 15s, but I gotta grab them here. Ha, huh. here is what we got. All right, so I'm going to press everything in. Then as I come down, I'm gonna go out. You do not have to do the little hip lift, just take the legs in and out. Let's do it, here we go. Everything in, everything out. Find a rhythm that works for you. Again, maybe that's one knee at a time. One knee at a time or here. Whoo, strong upper, strong core. I know this, almost this whole round has been upper and core, right? Don't worry, we got more coming. And breathe, 10 seconds. Breathe, three, two, one, and relax. Ha, yes, team. Whoo! Up onto your feet, take your time, lots of core. All right, team, you know what? When we're gonna do one more circuit, and we're gonna call it our bonus circuit. This is actually gonna be a super combo. So a lot of things working. I want you to take one medium dumbbell. We only got right side and left side, and that is it. You know what we haven't done today is a squat. So it's a lot of parts, watch me here. You're gonna do a kickstand deadlift. You're gonna snatch it. You're gonna squat. You're gonna press, then set back down. Kickstand, snatch, squat, and press. If you're feeling spicy and you wanna do one heavy, go for it, or two, but you may wanna clean instead of snatch. But I want you to get low on that squat, power it up. If that feels like a lot, which it might. We got two rounds, right side, left side, high heart rate. Just do the squat and the press, or just do the kickstand and the snatch. If the snatch is not right for you, you can do a high pull to your shoulder. All right, actually let's switch our hands. Let's take it right here. So we're opposite, here we go. So kickstand, snatch, racket, deep squat, power press, get set. Kickstand, snatch, Racket, squat, press, get set. Remember, you can go here, bring it up, squat, and press. Low to high, right? I know, this is it, team. Woo! Forgot what I was doing for a second. So you got two power moves. Your snatch, then racket, squat, and squat to press, right? Five, four, Three, two, one, yes. All right, team, other side, you got this. Heavy to medium, on the inside, kickstand, snatch, or rack it to that shoulder, move that foot in, squat and press. 40 seconds, then we're done. Bonus circuit, super combo. Here we go. Kickstand, snatch, squat, and press. Kickstand, snatch, squat, and press, yes, team. Huh. Breathe, so feel that core. I know we just got a lot of core on the mat, so it should be feeling it. Remember, you can just go to here and here. Kickstand, hamstring, snatch, power it up, squat, legs, upper. We got pull and push, squat and hinge. Everything we need, last one. Boom. Ha, yes, team. Set that weight down. Shake those arms out. How are you feeling? I know, thought it was gonna be long, but I told you two long circuits. One bonus circuit, which is a super combo. You did it, team. I don't know how you feel, but I feel tired, but energized. Ha, I feel like I worked hard. And I know I worked hard, right? I always remind you, if that felt hard, it's because you're working hard. It's not because you're out of shape, it's not that you're doing it wrong, it's that you're doing it, right? So keep that in mind. I will always, always remind you 
of that. Take it to the side here, Whoo, and breathe. Take those thumbs to the back while you let that heart rate come down. Open up the chest, reach those fingertips. Grab if you can. We're gonna keep this stretch pretty short, so of course, please get a stretch on your own. If you like this workout, don't worry, you got a kettlebell combo coming as well. Let's get a little hamstring stretch here. You can rotate through that shoulder if you want, or just hold it. Please make sure you leave me a comment. I love hearing from you after workouts. Let me know how you're feeling. Do you like this, where we build, where we do one and then the other, and then we put them together. Sometimes we just jump right in and putting them together. Let's go other side. Let me know, I love hearing from you. Leave me a like. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That helps me out so much. That help me, helps me reach more people, get more people moving in a way that's good for them, and we can build this body fit community together. And of course, if you can, make sure you join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club. So many fun things happening and happening in the new year. And download that Body Fit by Amy app. Roll through, get some more stretching on your own, get some more mobility and flexibility work. Check out all the links in the description below. Say hi to me and I will see you next time. Thank you for being here. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your full body dumbbell combo workout. Great job, everybody.